Adrian Crawford. Welcome to Walkabout Wednesday. And for this Wednesday, I thought I'd show you some special build cars that we have. And this is something that uh, Porsche lend themselves to. Now you can imagine if you had Ferrari, it's got to be exactly the way they came out of the factory. And whilst that's very, very nice, with Porsche, the, the benefit is that modified cars have always been part of the scene. And in fact, they modified cars themselves through their special request department, which nowadays is called, I think, the exclusive department. And um, uh, they had their own special facility to take a, a standard, regular factory Porsche to build it into something different. Well, we do the same here, and we've got uh, this week four cars to show you. And um, come with me, let me start and show you around. Right, so this is the first of one of our special builds. It's actually a 964 Targa that we completely rebuilt and you can see that uh, this is what you might call a long bonnet car. So it's a classic Porsche look that's become very popular with, um, with Singer. So the big wheel arches and the long bonnet, but it's actually a much more difficult job to get these to look right than you might think. On this car, these wheel arches are all in metal and specially formed to fit nicely around these 18 inch split rim wheels. So just buying a wheel arch is not going to work with this. In the back will be the 3.6 964 engine which will give it loads of torque and this is a particularly nice car for cruising with with the, with the roof off. Little custom features, well it's custom colour and then the modified spoiler still electric with the uh, third brake light in it. Then we have the bright work around the windows, the polished early style Targa hoop, chrome handles, chrome, chromed quarter windows, everything to make this car, even the little chromed um, or stainless washer jets, everything to make this car appear authentic and tied in. So that's one that we have built earlier. And inside this um, tobacco coloured leather with the Alcantara to the middle and uh, blue dash top and dark blue square weave carpet, which was again custom built with upgraded sound, navigation, and let me show you one other little feature of it that I rather like and is easy to overlook. And that's the dials. Now these are 964 dials that have been specially built with the green lettering, the white needles and the chromed rings to be reminiscent of the 73, 72, 73 look. As is the little uh, uh, alloy or silver strips running through the dash. So loads of attention to detail goes into cars like this to make them a cohesive build. So that's the first one, the 964 special build that our own guys did in the special request department. Now let's find the second one. Right, so our next one is this 911 SC, which on the face of it looks entirely standard, but actually a lot of attention to detail has gone into it. Especially on the body. Well, we'll talk about the body first. You can see original 16 inch Fouche wheels with correctly anodized 
petals, but lurking behind them, four, I think it's a four pot, or it might be a, hang on, let me check. One, two, yeah, so it's a four piston caliper, special caliper. You can see the different discs. So we've got special brakes, more powerful brakes all the way around. Other things you can't see is it's on X Tech X Track suspension, um, which is uh, one of the best suspension systems you can buy for them. And then the cover over the sill, I'll show you a standard one here, has been removed to save weight. And whilst the oil pipes that normally run along the sill and are covered by that um, sort of metal moulding, they've been run inside the sill. Other little features, lightweight rear bumper tucks in a little bit more than normal. Overriders been um, binned, centre exhaust, aluminium engine lid. This car weighs in at a shade under a thousand kilos and uh, makes it much, much more lively. It's also been built inside this time. We've used the Recaro Sportster CS seats in leather with Alcantara more like a GT3 feel. We've replaced the headlining, put lightweight door panels in it, Alcantara dash top, more modern sound system. There's our special request department um, badge, a gear shift and underneath there is a Wevo shifter. And the body a little bit stronger than original and considerably lighter and all that is driven along by the original matching numbers engine however completely rebuilt on 80 power throttle bodies so six individual throttle bodies controlled by its own ECU this gives it, if I remember rightly, around 245 horses with a thousand kilos and through the 915 gearbox and limb slip. It's a fabulous piece of kit to drive. So this is a different way of doing your special build. I love these cars. I think having one built the way you like it is just brilliant and uh, I, I just think it's such a nice thing where can you have that done today so now on to the third one this one would fool even the most uh, serious of um, Porsche enthusiasts it looks to all intents and purposes like a 1972 911s again with the long bonnet notice it's black um, surrounds and horn grills that was um, one of the things that could have been done this car looks completely authentic even down to the 1972 only what they called the side oil cap. Now, the interesting thing, even the rear wheel arches have been changed to the narrower 1972-73 version. It's badged as an S, dead right. The center exhaust is your giveaway. Now, I'll show you in the engine bay and I don't think I'll need to tell you much so again like the red car a three litre engine modified rebuilt on these 80 power throttle bodies once more standalone ECU very quick little car 
and you can see this particular car everything in here has been cleaned up so the wiring the fuse box the spark box has all been hidden behind this bulkhead and although I'd like to say we did the work on this car it was actually a chap called John Miller whose um, work we've handled quite a few times formerly classic Carrera and they do or he did really really nice work um, just in the same sort of quality and style as we would so I'm always very happy to offer um, his handiwork so this one three litre really good driving car what you can't see is that structurally it's improved as well the car's got a double floor in it so the car's torsionally stiffer means less scuttle shake handles really well feels very different to normal targets this one has got old school recaro seats with a roll top head restraint and the um, houndstooth Porsche style fabric, beautiful leather, Pepita carpet, houndstooth through the dash, old school music in it, very very nicely built car. Yet another unique Porsche and I have to say if you see one of these and you fancy buying it then it's quite a big saving over the cost of doing it um, commissioning one yourself and therefore if you decide that what you'd really like is pink seat trim or leather down there or whatever that type of thing we can easily modify and do and it's still worth while this particular car has got other really neat features I know under the trunk is matching luggage matching toolbox and uh, lots of other really really nice features so that's number three that's your 1972 911s special build let's see let's take you to the next one right so here's your number four uh, this is another car that we specially built here uh, one of my favorites it's a 911 2.5 ST but was always a 2.5 ST specification what did that mean it meant it was really Porsche at the time Porsche's ultimate specification for like a 1971-72 car and this one raced in period in America for years and years and years and it came here and we converted it to a road car for a client so it's an authentic 2.5 ST 911 homage now for our client we put it back into the original colour kept all the lightweight bits and pieces but put glass back in the windows left the, the safety bars on the rear screen little touches just like this look that related back to its original life as a race car but inside take a look at this really really nice a natural leather to the doors black leather to the door tops no glove box lid just like an ST no radio in fact not a lot else in here and then we put a half half roll cage took out the full roll cage used a high go one beautiful quality square weave corn colored carpet which went well against the um, bespoke leather on the seats which we sort of matched to um, something that the owner sent us and then this lovely brown and black and white checker so that's another way of doing a special build car 
Now all those four are on sale or will be on sale. Um, let me see if I can show you the engine of this. Bear with me. And there you go. This is the heart of a 2.5 ST on long inlet um, tracts, uh, MFI, mechanical fuel injected. All this stuff is really, really difficult to find and purchase. Beautifully rebuilt engine, lightweight um, glass fibre cover, lightweight glass fibre tinware, that's this brown material that you can see. Just lovely and authentic. Really, really special machine. I'll be getting this one out in due course and uh, having uh, a little bit of uh, on, uh, on the road action with it. So that is number four. And it's in here that all the special build work gets done. Um, our man Graham helped with Josh and Paul. We'll um, build a Porsche to whatever specification is, uh, is something that you like and uh, do a really high quality job. I'm really thrilled when these uh, bespoke projects come together. Uh, got another one in the background on its way to completion. And that's it from me. I'm Adrian at Williams Crawford, Passion for Porsche. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a look into some of the things that we enjoy doing. And uh, if you've seen any of those cars uh, that you're interested in, give us a tinkle. There are ways of funding it and enjoying your life now with them. Okay, all the best. See you again soon.